friends, today's video is going to be an altar tour um, because I am getting ready to set up new cabinets. I'm getting like two new bookshelves to put up to have a bigger, I guess, space um, for my altar and my just spirituality and like tarot practice and just my practice and sacred space in general. So we are in my sunroom right now and it's kind of messy, um, but I will leave a link to my craft room tour because the sunroom is pretty much my room. On this side is my crafting area and I will leave a link for that tour. And then on this side is my like altar and spiritual place and whatever. Um, so yeah, so I'm about to set up, I'm assembling my cabinets here. I'm hoping, hoping to have them done this weekend and then I will do a whole brand new altar setup hopefully in the coming year for that as well. But yeah, so let's just jump into my current altar setup. All right, I have you all on a tripod and I'm trying to not make it shaky, but I feel like it's going to be shaky. So let me see if I can just hold it in this hand and hopefully it won't be too shaky. So this is my altar in our sunroom. Here is some mess that I need to put away. Um, hopefully this will be out of here while I get these uh, new shelves up. But this is the altar in its little space. It's nice and cozy. Like I love that I can just come up to it and I'm kind of like engulfed in it, I guess. You know what I mean? Like there, I don't have anything above it. Hopefully the shelves, the shelves are going to be taller. So it'll be a nice like I don't know, full space to be in. And I'm hopefully going to put a little chair over here. And what I'm hoping to get is something that can pull out to be a bed. So like a single bed um, for somebody to sleep on if they want to. But yeah, I have my little pillow. These are some games that need to get put away and just some stuff. But this is, this is the space. So what I have is I have two little TV stand type dealios stacked on top of each other. One of these, this one I was using for craft stuff and then I got another shelf for my craft stuff so I decided to you break or take that and bring it over here and I stacked it on top of what I was originally using for my altar that I could sit at. I like this that I can stand at it now and that's what I'm hoping to gain also from the um, um, bookshelves as well as being able to stand at it so I can't wait to show you that setup but yeah so usually I come over here in the mornings and I already lit my candles because I'm going to do my tarot pull after this and I do a little tarot pull and do a little journaling and whatnot so I guess I'll just show you some of the stuff that I have I can't remember the last time I did an altar tour, altar tour like what I really talked about so over here I have oh it's kind of dark Let's see. Okay, over here I just have this thing, container of crystals. Um, I thought this was a really cool container that I got at some craft store. Um, it might have been Hobby Lobby, honestly, back when I was still shopping there, but people driving by on their motorcycles. So there's that, and behind it I have some of my essential oils that I use. This actually might be kind of dusty because I'm just trying to get back into my practice here now. Um, this is one that I use to like ground in the mornings and then magnolia this is another good grounding one for me cheer i still have all my doTERRA oils another amavi so that's back there and then next to that we have these two pillar candles that i light in the morning this one has sagittarius on it and my sister got that for me from i think it's called a velvet witch um, back home and then I made this candle I also I have a video actually on my channel about Dollar Tree like altar decor and so I made I'm trying to get myself out of the light here I made this candle with some stickers that I had and it's just kind of like a my power candle it says you are strong and capable and it's just like a candle that I liked for me you know what I mean like it's my power candle so I like that for me and then this I think is a box I got in a Nova Luna box subscription perhaps way back when Bella, I think it's Bella de Luna Astrology now, um, was doing a like new moon box thing I really liked. And I keep my tarot cards that I'm currently working with, which is the Modern Witch Tarot. And then I have a little cauldron candle. I might have to see if I can make this a little bit brighter in post. Um, but I have a little cauldron candle that I got at Target probably in their Halloween at one point and then another little cool candle that I keep a tea light in that I need to get a new tea light for my water chalice a hippo these are some 
like LED flameless battery operated candles that I had when my altar was down lower so that Marcus wouldn't bother them or if he did it wouldn't hurt him you know then I have a wheel of the year that I changed which we should be almost to in bulk now and not Yule this I'm sorry this is so shaky this I also have a DIY on my channel on how to make a tarot card holder with Dollar Tree stuff another thing this is what I use for the most part to cleanse my altar um, is this little bell from I think I got a from a Nova Luna box this is the cutting board I usually do my crystal grids on this if I do crystal grids um and then oh up here let me get back over here maybe not maybe this way I'm sorry this is so shaky um I have my two like Juno and Hera cards um and then my hippo statue and this is kind of like my pantheon of gods I guess goddesses I guess I have more of a goddess centered practice and that's what I am trying to focus on again in 2023 so that's you know who I have this not necessarily alter to but who I just honor I guess when I am at my altar and ask for guidance and I don't know just keep in mind that goddess energy and I have a little box here I don't have anything in it a couple of crystals some things I got from the Nova Luna box like way 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 long ago some more essential oils um, honestly I haven't been working with oils or herbs or anything recently um, I'm gonna try and get back into that in 2023 as well and then another little shelf with more oils there's a selenite and there's a little something something there too um then we go over here these are rocks from where's my hand these are rocks from lake michigan this is a what is that himalayan salt candle holder thing um i don't have a candle in there yet another plate of rocks <laughs> another plate of crystals this is one that marcus comes over and like we'll put crystals out of and play with and look at and stuff like that so I have that there and then I posted a reel on Instagram with some of the books that I have for 2023 so I have the almanac a witch's date book and then this modern witchcraft guide to fairies that my sister got me so I think that's really fun can't wait to read that this year and then maybe I should get a chair let me get a chair then under here I have some books like all my tarot decks and some books that I am hoping to be able to you know reference and get in on this year so I have I'm not gonna pull out all of my tarot decks maybe if you want to see it and Oracle decks maybe if you want to see it I will do a tarot and Oracle deck collection I might do it even if you don't want to see it um <laughs> because I'll be putting my stuff away so maybe I can set up a tripod and do that but I have the before and the after tarot the after tarot is my favorite I actually have it down here it is my favorite tarot deck but I am really loving using the modern witches tarot or the modern witch tarot that I picked up, up at Joann's of all places um I am really loving that and I am going to continue to use that I think through the rest of the year um then I have some books the pagan family prayer and ritual uh tarot spell book, spell book the wiccan year this is oh this is a planner from and then practical magic but this is a planner Pat, the Pathfinder journal so I guess it's a journal from Bella de Luna and then I have the moon deck spirit de la lune and the a wild unknown tarot I think the goddess tarot the universe has your back this is another little bowl um some other tarot whoa some other tarot decks down there um a rogue pumpkin but some other tarot decks down there um this is a sticky note pad that I used to write some notes on these don't have anything really in them what's that there's like a plug-in and then whoa some random stuff you can't even see it some random stuff in there incense and whatnot is this the incense yeah I think I don't know why I threw the celestial incense in there because that's what I've been using recently um and then this over here if I tuck that back in is where I keep my journal so I will show you that probably as well um but this is the tarot journal i use and i have some like stickers and stuff over here too under here the stickers that i use in my tarot planner and tarot journal and then my other books and references and stuff and then let's see um i think there's incense down in here and another little book over there and then this long like tower of drawers here is where I keep some Sabbath decorations and essential oil bottles and some other like spell working stuff I don't really go in there 
as much as I used to. Like I'll take out decorations to put on our family altar, but I don't really go in there because I don't really do a lot of, my practice has really evolved to just being like more tarot centered. Um, I'm not really doing much with like, like I said, with like herbs and oils and stuff, which is what I want to get back into. So I have to see what all is in this because I don't even remember what little sachets of stuff I have in here. And then this little um, door, which you can't hardly see, just has some other storage behind it as well. Yeah, so nothing really like terribly important. Um, honestly, I don't even know. There's some extra chakra decks in there, connected chakras decks that I made in there. Um, more oils and more incense. And some of my reference books, like my Reiki stuff is in there. Um, other things from this old um, shop I used to go to and do some classes and stuff at. So I would like to find something that I could do here with that. But yeah, I don't know that I have the time and stuff. But that is my little altar space. And yeah. So I also wanted to show you how I am using my tarot planner. So I have these inserts in my shop. They are Canva, they're designed in Canva, so you can edit them and change them around, um, you know, customize them the way that you want, or you can download the PDF and like immediately print them. Um, but what I have been using is this tarot planner here, and I'm using some old dividers, but this tarot planner. And pretty much what it is, is a planner that I use for my daily tarot practice. It's kind of laid out like the, like a faith planner kind of would be, but also in the trendsetter, like monthly layout. So I've been using the monthly layout to write down the affirmations that I have each day. And then it also has a section where you can write the new and the full moons and the first quarter and the third quarter and things like that. So I've been using this to write down my affirmations for each day. This dashboard here I use for mantras for the month, the um, new moon information, things I want to do like in my grimoire or get done um, when it comes to spirituality and faith um, in that month. And then my um, monthly habits, which I haven't been checking off. I've not done meditation at all, but I have done tarot pull and my affirmations for the most part. Um, and then this section says reflections. And these are stickers that I put down. This section says reflection. This section says important. And this section does say moon journal. But you can change these because it's a Canva template. You can change these to say whatever you want. Um, you can even like pre-fill in some stuff if you want. You can change this from to do to whatever else, whatever else you want. And then on the next page starts a like a faith planner style layout. And so what I have been using is the acronym tarot to kind of guide my faith. Um, I don't know. I guess you would call it faith to guide my spiritual practice to guide my tarot practice. Um, so like I said, I use the acronym tarot. It's kind of laid out like soap. So I use the acronym tarot. T is the tarot pull. A is, I wrote action here, but I'm actually going to change it to be affirmation because I have been using this as affirmation. I was thinking I would pull the card, see what the card is like asking me to do or telling me I need to do or like what I'm seeing in the card or whatever, but I'm actually using it as affirmation. So I'm going to change that. You can keep it as action. You can change it to affirmation. You can change it like whatever. And then the RO is reflection and observation. And then T as in is the last T is theme. So I pull the card. I kind of look at it. So like my card from yesterday was the night, the king of wands. I'm sorry, this is so shaky. I pull this yesterday. So I look at it and I write it. I draw it like I draw the symbol for it. So like, let's go back here. King of Wands. It's not really that pretty, but I do something like that. Like here's last week's. Um, I have to look up. I need to print out a key and I haven't. So like this was Hierophant. This was Death. Seven of Wands, Ten of Cups, Seven of Cups, things like that. So I pull the card, write it down, and I think about what I'm seeing in the card, and I write that down under the theme. And then I will also go ahead and pull out the um, 
um, guidebook that goes with it because I'm not familiar with this tarot deck and I haven't done tarot in a very, very long time. So I'm kind of rusty. And that's what the guidebooks are for. They're there to guide you. So pull out the guidebook. And then I see what it has to say. And that's where I use these sticky notes too to kind of write down more notes and organize my thoughts and see what I'm thinking. And then once I have it like kind of organized and I'm like, yeah, that's what it is. I see what the card is telling me, I guess, and write it down as a simple affirmation. Like I am ready to get started or I am starting now or I am my life is balanced or something like that like that's been some of my um, affirmations and then I will kind of take my like conglomeration of what I'm feeling and write it down under reflection and observation. Sometimes that's like immediate, like I can see how this is applying in my life or I can see what I need to do. And other times it will be like Thursday before I go and connect the three cards from Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday because they all seem to be connecting to me. So this I kind of use, if you've seen people use the faith planner, they kind of sometimes just write across and ignore the lines. That's mainly what I do. Like sometimes it'll be like one, um, column but other times I'll be connecting like all the cards like last week I think I got a lot of um cups and stuff I got like I got a lot of cups a lot of wands the first week I got entirely almost all major arcana cards and so I'll just write like what I think that kind of means and how those things are connected and then just go on like that and sometimes I'll decorate this before Recently, I've been decorating it after just because I haven't had the time. Um, and then after the weekly pages, which this is undated, so I had to put stickers in. After the weekly pages, I have two like blank notes pages, I guess you would say, that I'm using for the new and the full moon. So this is the full moon in Cancer. So that's what I did. And I got this from the Grimoire Club, I believe, on Patreon. So I use Bella DeLuna for a lot of my information when it comes to the new moons and full moons and stuff like that. So I write that down here. I did some journaling here. And then this weekend when it is the new moon, I'll write that down here. And then the last thing is a notes page. You can write this like for whatever you're reading, like things you want to remember um scribble scratches whatever that comes to your mind that you may want to think about later and then it goes into the next month and the next month opens with a notes page so what you could do is if you don't have the dividers you don't need dividers you could just have two pages of notes like lined notes i guess and then it goes into your next month and then same thing you have a month and you can change the dates um it, it does come with dates in it on canva but you'll have to change them like it's only three months at a time so you'll have to change them for whatever you want especially if you're going into like 2025 you know what i mean so um a month another space for the moon phases and then we go into this dashboard where you can write whatever you need to write and then into the weeklies again and then on into two blank grid pages a blank note page and then another note page and then march and so that's how i've been using my um the tarot planner that i have in canva um to kind of further my tarot practice and kind of keep me on track for you know my spirituality in 2023 all right, so that was my altar tour. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to show you what other videos I'm gonna have coming in 2023. Um, a lot more planner stuff, more altar stuff. I can't wait to show you when this altar is all set up. It's just gonna be such a great little space for me to like just be in, have my own little room to be in. It's gonna be wonderful. Um, so yeah, I might should do something for our family altar. Honestly, it will probably be just on Instagram because it's really, really small. And you've actually probably already seen a lot of the crafts we do for the different Sabbaths together as a family. We do crafts, we put them on our family altar. Um, so I will leave, I'll try to leave that. I have a whole guide on my Instagram page of like all the DIYs we've done. The next one we're gonna do is a woolly sheep for in bulk. I'm not sure when in this video is going to go up but um so yeah if you enjoyed this video uh which i hope you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe like i said i'd love for you to stick around and see what else i will have on this channel in the coming year and yeah i will talk to my next one thanks for watching bye